something reeks. Oh, move over, will you? Yes. She's coming, she's coming. Denied. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Adina. Late for her own surprise party. She always pulls this crap. Remember when she made us late for that Jim Carroll oh. film? So annoying. And then when you call her on it, she always does this stupid laugh. It's like, ah, ah. <laughs> No, no, it, it's more like, ah, ah. <laughs> No, stop me, okay? She's my best friend. Besides, it's more like, <laughs> So when it says, wash, rinse, repeat, like, how many times are you supposed to repeat? <laughs> What's with all that glitter? Okay, and those weird oh. earrings. I know. Where the hell is she anyways? I don't know. Yeah. Right here. Listening to every word. Surprise? <laughs> Cascadia, we taught that winners hold the power, which is why everything's about competition. Who can hit the ball the hardest? Who looks best in a sleeveless polo? And who can hold the biggest grudge? Do you have to photograph everything? Just the good stuff. So, how long is she gonna keep this up? You don't know Adina. And you really didn't get her anything? A headband and a new pack of tennis balls. Oh. They're waterproof, okay? What does she expect anyways? We all gotta turn 15 in here someday. I'm just glad I'm not her roommate. Yeah, the crowd goes bananas as BC's Boy Wonder drops his fourth game in a row. Can you hear them shouting, loser, loser? Why do you always do that, man? Do what? Act like it doesn't matter. I've been beating you all week. It's a game. And it's the reason we're here. Excuse me for having a life. You should practice more. Maybe tonight we can work on your serve. Can't. Guitar practice. I thought that was on Thursday. Not wrong. I don't know what I've been told. The scary eyes paved with gold. Sound up. One, two. Sound up. Three, four. And sweat and then repeat. Get our friends when you compete. So you're not mad at me now. I didn't say that. Sound up. Three, four. All right. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I'm starving. You all right? Nothing a milkshake wouldn't cure. Walk it off. Check it out. Walking down the street, headphones on, bumble to the speed on that cat with the smooth ass moves. And when you hear the music coming, I just got the groove on that cat. Love you right back, you be the itch, I'll be the scratch on that cat. Who will DJ your party, making everybody scream loudly, darling. Adina? Adina? Adina! You ever been to Arnie's? Arnie's? The burger joint in the bowling alley. In another life. They're so big, they don't even fit in your mouth. They fall apart when you eat them. The juices run down your chin. They're also 26 grams of fat. That's chocolate eclair territory. God, Megan. Sometimes you're so lame. Next time, bring two of you and I'll still win. You're not supposed to laugh, you know. My first groupie? You wish. I need a favor. Figures. You and Squib snuck off the grounds last week. 
How'd you do it? You undercover for Bates or something? What's that supposed to mean? No offense, but you're not exactly a sneak out type. Everybody's got a dark side. You dot your eyes with smiley faces. Okay, are you gonna help me or what? <laughs> Take me. And you say you're not a groupie. It's for Adina's birthday. Right. Okay, okay. When are you going? Tonight. I want to take her to Arnie's. Arnie's? What's wrong? I just remembered. I got math. So blow it off. I said no. How'd it go? It went. You're sweating. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You all right? I'm fine. So get this. Megan heard about our little excursion last week and asked me to escort her out of here. Some lame birthday thing for Adina. You don't want to go? Uh, not really. Oh, come on. Megan is like every teacher's favorite student. It's like having a get-out-of-jail-free card. So? So, count me in. This is perfect Sebastian and Squib territory. Right? Right. What the hell are you doing? I just wanted to see it. My guitar is off limits. Understand? Hey, um, I'm wondering if you have any, um, information, if you know what I'm saying. Information, right. Come on, Cody, your father's a school shrink. I thought maybe, you know, you hear stuff every now and then. Well, you thought wrong. It's about Squib. This is wrong. This is so, so wrong. And your point is? What's the X mean? Means he's a marked man. One false move and he gets the boot. As an expulsion. Well, why is he marked? Doesn't say. You think he could be using? Well, you tell me. Maybe I should forget about our little excursion. What little excursion? Nothing. Why? I can't tell you. Too bad. I really don't want to have to tell my dad to keep an eye on you. I got roped into sneaking out tonight, all right? For Adina's birthday. And you better keep your mouth shut. On one condition. Take me with you. Come on. You gotta check out this moon. This is so stupid. I just want to sleep. Why can't I just... Happy birthday, Adina. Last banana hyper bar. They're the only edible ones. But don't eat it yet. Not before you have your Arnie's burger. Can we say road trip? <laughs> <laughs> It can't be. It wasn't locked last time. I say we try this first. I could kiss you. We'll talk later. I need the key. Just a sec. It's locked! This can't be happening. 
I left it in the door. So what are you saying? We're trapped. This can't be happening. I want the burger. I want the freaking burger! Stop it already. If we were cannibals, don't you think the thumb would be a delicacy? <laughs> Seriously, a lot of tasty skin on that. Oh, shut up. I'm just making conversation. Well, it's stupid. Okay, oh wise one, tell me, what part of the body would be worth more? Hmm? Hmm? The lower buttock. Right above the thigh. Mmm, too fatty. The calves are a better bed. Mmm, only if you had a slow cooker. No, I'd say more the... Belly button area. What about you, Meg? I'm not doing this. But if you had to choose, like if you were at gunpoint or something. Slap on some garlic butter and the shoulder blade might be pretty tasty. Truth to dare. True. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? And if so, who? Mr. Hicks, sixth grade. <laughs> I liked his voice okay. Should I tell everyone the dream you had about Mr. Dress Up? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian's up. Um, I'm not playing. Aw, oh, come on, Sebastian. Some things I'd just like to keep to myself. <laughs> then take a dare. Forget it. What are you, chicken? Is that a challenge? Hmm? Uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Here's done it. Not me. Not me either. <laughs> sure, me too. Interesting how it divides along gender lines. You didn't answer. Yes. So she goes. I. Okay, I'm up. Is there anyone in the room you're attracted to? <clears throat> I'll pass. Swib. Swib! Yes. Adina? Oh, yeah. Cody? Damn straight. I'm changing my answer. Yes. You're just saying that. I wish I was. <laughs> I actually thought about hurting her. <laughs> I'm just like pushing her off a cliff or something. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how good she is. You don't know what hating Sonny's about unless you're a guy. She beat me. <laughs> a girl, three years younger than me, <laughs> beat me. <laughs> okay, as the only non-tennis playing freak here, I have a question. What happens if you don't make it? Well, I know Megan won't be fine. Mm -hmm. Why me? Because you've got a brain. You've got it all figured out and pressure just bounces off of you. I'm squeezing my racket at night thinking about tomorrow's match. Yeah. 
Never noticed till the next day when my hands are raw. It's like Ryan, my brother. Scouts had him pegged as a first Canadian top tenor, but then he started to get into some, uh, some stuff. Anyways, one day he made the quarters in the RCA Classic. Only tourney he never won. It's super hot, pushing 40 in the shade. But he keeps playing. And then, right smack in the middle of the game, he keels over. Just like that. Dead. How? Heart attack. They think. <laughs> <laughs> He had everything, the looks, the moves, but I was never as good. So a guy slips into old habits. What kind of old habits? You know, clown it up, act like nothing matters. Which is good, right? I mean, it's just a game. Squib, truth or dare? Truth. What's in the guitar case? I'll take the dare. You don't have to, Squib. I want to. Fine. Kiss me again. Do you have a match tomorrow? Oh, please. What? Whenever there's a lull, someone has to bring up tennis. I'm sick of it. This is Cascadia Tennis Academy? And I don't play tennis. You have any idea of what that feels like? I'm like a freak in my old school. You're not missing much. It's not even fun anymore. Not like when we were little. Remember, Megs? We used to play outside the Oakville Racquet Club. When we screwed up, we just changed the game. That was before the coaches and agents. I don't see any coaches here. <laughs> What do we have here? President Bates, we can explain everything. Uh, it was my fault. Uh, we were looking for some extra practice time, but we got stuck and we... Save it. Just hear us out. What should I, Mr. Dubay? I have expelled students for less. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so stupid. It's my fault. They did it all for me. For my birthday. <laughs> Do you take me for a fool, Miss Stiles? <laughs> Leaving the Cascadia grounds is inexcusable. I know, but it's not their fault. Expel me, not them. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. You're not going to be expelled. <laughs> Technically, you didn't leave the grounds. Instead, you are restricted to your rooms for one week. But before you leave, I want this floor to where I can eat off of it. Have I made myself clear? Oh, by the way, guys, why didn't you just uh, flick this up? <laughs> Listen, that stuff I said in there, 
I was on glue. Me too. I thought I was the only one. Let's just pretend nothing happened. Agreed. Not quite the exotic birthday you were hoping for, huh? Nope. It was better. Okay, so I didn't tell you everything. You don't have to. Yeah, I do. After my brother, you know, I had a little dark spell. Started messing around a little. I took a few pills. But I'm clean now. For real? For real. Which is why I can't take this game so seriously. Okay, thanks. Squib. What? What's in the guitar case? That's the thing. Everybody's got to hold on to a secret or two. Someday soon I'll find out just what I've been waiting for. And someday soon I'll know that my time will come. Someday soon I'll stand outside that open golden door. I'll be so grateful. Chill.